This question gives vectors a and b in terms of i, j and k. So these are vectors in three-dimensional space. We're asked to determine the measure of the angle between vector a and vector b. So from definition of the dot product, we have the vector a dotted with the vector b is equal to the modulus of vector a times the modulus of vector b times the cosine of the angle between vectors a and b. We previously rearranged this to give the cos of theta is equal to the dot product of vector a with b divided by the modulus of vector a times the modulus of vector b. You should check this yourself to see that you get it correct. So we are going to find the dot product of vector a with vector b, then the modulus of vector a and the modulus of vector b, and we'll substitute them back into this formula to find our angle theta. So the dot product of vector a with vector b We previously found the dot product of two two-dimensional vectors. It's very similar to find the dot product of two three-dimensional vectors. We must get the product of the i coefficients, so that's 2 by 5, added to the product of the j coefficients, and added to the product of the k coefficients. So that is the dot product of vector a with vector b. Now we will find the modulus of vector a. Vector a is equal to 2i minus 3j plus 5k. So the modulus of vector a is equal to the square root of the i coefficient squared, which is 2 squared, plus the j coefficient squared is minus 3 squared, plus the k coefficient squared. So again, it's very similar to finding the modulus of a two-dimensional vector. The modulus of vector b. Vector b is equal to 5i plus 3j minus 7k. So the modulus of vector b is equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 7 to be squared. So now substituting these back into our formula, so the cos of theta is equal to the dot product of vector a with b. And the dot product of vector a with b turned out to be minus 34. The modulus of vector a we worked out to be the square root of 38. And the modulus of vector b we worked out to be the root of 83. Multiplying the square roots by each other gives us this. Dividing minus 34 by the square root of 3154 gives this. So now this is equal to the cos of our angle theta. If we want to find theta, then we need to get the cos inverse. So this is our angle between the two vectors A and B.